as we wade through this long grass riddled with snakes and spiders we come across a blocked drain mate and it's the usual scenario another plumber's been here he's got no idea so the owners called me up now that over there that's the overflow relief gully toilets kitchen basin shower you name it it's overflowing out of that overflow relief gully and the owner's got a sneaking suspicion that there's an inspection point to a sewer back here somewhere so We'll just bloody find it. The last guy couldn't. I don't know if he's even bloody tried, but let's get stuck in, guys. So we've got the shovel out, and we're just going to dig this inspection shaft up. The inspection shaft is where the property sewer connects to the council sewer. What the bloody hell is... Someone squirt me. Oh, it's, this, it's the bloody sprinklers. I thought the neighbour was squirting me. Anyway... Oh, there's nothing worse than being squirted by the neighbour in the face first thing in the morning. Oh, mind out the gutter, guys. Let's find this bloody inspection shaft. It'll be down here somewhere. You know, the last plumber, he's obviously had the heart the size of an ant's kneecap because he's given up pretty bloody quickly. What's this here? Lump of concrete? Nah, that's not it. Well, all we had to do was look to the left, and Bob is your mother's brother. I mean, it's staring us straight in the face. Oh, what's that? S for silly sausage? Probably. Bloody S for sewer, I'd say. So, oh, there we go. Have a look down there. There shouldn't be any water. That should be crystal clear. I'm telling you, I don't like to blow my own bloody trumpet, but sometimes I impress myself. You know, the last bloke, he spent three hours digging up the... I don't know what he... I'm not going to bag him out. Anyway, let's get the jet set up. Now nah, someone's bloody playing with me here. Someone's bloody squirting me. Oh, well, 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 bloody well. We've got a Jet X jetting nozzle and i've had a few people in the comments just screaming at me saying bruce you ain't a plumber until you tried one of these nozzles so let's give her a bloody whirl mate i'm gonna try and feed it down as far as possible and uh and then we'll just fire the jet up mate and let's see if we can annihilate these suspected tree roots well, let's go and fire the big girl up we'll go fire the jet up but before we do, I, I've got to show you. Look at the state of this place, mate. I mean, what was this pelican thinking, you know, digging the drain up? No, mate. No, you were first year apprentice. Why? Why would you do it, mate? Anyway, anyway. All right, guys, I'm bloody excited about this one. I'm telling you, you know, new jetting nozzle. I feel like a new man. But before we fire up, let's just shout the first day of spring out here in Western Australia. The sun's out and life is bloody good, mate, you know. Nothing more that I can ask for than the sun out and a blocked bloody drain, mate. So let's just crack on and get stuck right in. Well, you've got front row seats, you lucky duck. Let's fire the new jet up. Let's go! So as we're jetting down the inspection shaft, we literally should be moments away from unblocking this, but already sent a little bit of hose. I've sent a little bit of hose down. I Am I going upstream? Surely not. Just want to make sure a hose hasn't bloody popped out the gully. All right, it's all Mickey Mouse around here. I just wanted to double check that hose hadn't gone upstream. But sometimes these drains, if it's a square on back, we can go upstream. But I reckon we're all right. All right, round two. Let's crack on and get this sorted. We're going a fair way down. The, look, there's two things that could be happening here. Either the blockage is way out in the council sewer down the street, or we're going up towards their house. All right, let's go get the plunger. Well, I've got Mr. Plunger out. I'm just going to try and plunge the base of the gully, just so if I can see anything in there to give us evidence if we're going the right way. So what we want is to literally send the hose down here, and then hit the elbow, go straight into the main sewer. 
I got Mr. Plunge here, and I'm going to just plunge to see if there's a curved square, which is basically like a T piece at the bottom, which would then let us accidentally send the hose upstream. So we'll try and plunge. Oh, mate, she. Whoa. Got quite the aroma to her, mate. Now I'm just trying to feel out a junction which would be from the house sewer connecting into this riser pipe and then I know that sending it downstream of this inspection shaft we're not going to bloody you know go up there down the inside and we're going out towards the council sewer we'll just give it one more go I think we'll oh. 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 Oh, I bloody copped a mouthful, guys. Oh, my gosh. But, you know, it's part and parcel of the job. You know, it puts hairs on your chest. But anyway, I'm very confident now that we send this down. We're going straight out to the council sewer. And mate, she is a fair run. You know, we could be sending this all the way down the street. The owner, you know, he doesn't have the time to wait for the council. So let's just send the jet as far as we can and see if we can clear this for him. Otherwise, we'll have to get the bloody council in to sort it out, mate. Well, she is a fair way down. I don't know if we've... I don't know if we bloody hit the blockage. I reckon we're at the blockage. Let's just go for a little sticky beak and see if we've got any levels dropping in the backyard here for a second, guys. Go and have a wander and, and look at the state of this, guys. I mean, oh, wow. But anyway, there's some movement. There is some It's slowly draining. I think we're slowly but surely we're getting there, you know. What I really want to see from this new nozzle is literally just firing the jet up now that we're at the blockage and just ripping through it, just smashing it, you know, like no one's business, mate. You know, I... I reckon that that's council land. Look at that. Look at that. It's council land over the back. No wonder. These bloody, these big bloody gum trees. I reckon the main sewer runs under those bloody trees. All right. Now the game has changed a little. But let's, let's still try and clear it. Those gum trees are living their best life, mate. Feasting on the drain. I'm assuming that's what's going on. But let's fire her up and continue on. All right, well, we're not actually at the blockage. We've got room to move. I might actually bloody pull this jet head up just for a second because it's kind of like fishing. I feel like I feel like I've caught something, guys. Well, that was a little bit of an anti-climax. I mean, I felt like I had a shark on the end of this, but we've got a little hairball. Lovely. Let's try and pull her off and we'll send Mr. Jetex back down. And I expect a no-fuss drain clean from here on in. But before we continue on, I've got to shout out the great man, Drain Addict. Mate, your pets are fantastic, but they're bloody plastic. You know, I've got the real deal. I've got a real snail and a real caterpillar, and he munches real leaves. And he leave a bloody real invoice in the letterbox for his gardening service at the end of the job. All right, guys, enough stuffing around, enough buddy playing with pets. You know, this is about plumbing, this is about drain cleaning, and let's just get this one knocked on the head and move on to the next job. We're making a bloody meal of it now, aren't we? Let's fire the jet up, and let's bloody crack on, mate. As I say, this is literally the first time, the first time that I bloody sent the JetX nozzle down. So I'm, it's a little bit of a road test, you know. And I'm, I really do apologise if I make a meal of this to the JetX company, you know. I'm just a bloke trying to have a laugh, trying to unblock a drain. So don't take this review, a review? I guess it is a review. Don't take it too bloody seriously if it fails. You know what they say, you know, a good tradesman never blames his tools. So if we can't unblock this, I'm not going to blame JetX. We'll just readjust here and we will continue on. We must be bloody close. Surely we are bloody close now. And a big bloody shout out to you. Yes, you who bloody, you know, I've popped up in your algorithm. You know, hello, how are you? Shout out to you, mate. You know, tell me in the comments, are you surprised? You know, are you, you know, slightly amused? Are you going to continue watching? Have you given us a thumbs up? 
are you going to give us a thumbs down? Let me know. I get an awful lot of people saying to me, I don't know how I found your channel, but I did. And I'm glad I stayed. And I bloody appreciate that. Where bloody you going? Oh, whoa, whoa, look at that, we've hit it. You little ripper, Jet X to the bloody rescue, mate. It was like cutting through butter. Wow, I didn't even know we'd hit the blockage, mate. We've literally hit the blockage. Now, I don't expect this to suck away because we've probably got a street with like 30 or 40 houses here that are bloody blocks, mate. So it's going to take a while to drain away, but you little ripper, we, we'll, we'll spend a little bit of time working on that, that blockage. But wowee, I, you know, I'm a fan. I might even try and find the JetX page. Is there a Facebook page for JetX? And I might even comment and say, well done, well done, well bloody done, I approve. It gets a Bruce from Drain Cleaning Australia's tick of bloody approval, mate. It's just been a pleasure. Well, let's go and have a sticky beak at the gully next to the house. Let's go for a little wander. I'm bloody chuffed with that JetX nozzle, I've got to tell you. Oh, mate, look at that. I mean, it's like a bloody Picasso, isn't it? Take a screenshot of it right now, and I don't know, yeah, push it up on the wall, because that is what dreams are made of, guys. Anyway, let's go and check this inspection shaft now. Maybe she is starting to drain away. There's a lot of liquid behind it, but let's have a sticky beak. Oh, it sounds good. It sounds good. Oh, and it looks bloody good as well. If you haven't been to the Niagara Falls, don't bother, mate, because, I mean, it's this is all you need to see. This is picture bloody perfect. Well, while this is draining away, I reckon we go and have a little wander and try and find that, that nature reserve behind the fence. But before we do, mate, mate, you're supposed to be chewing those weeds and providing that gardening service. Well, what's that? You're full? Oh, bugger off, mate. I've never seen drain addicts bloody pets slack off on the job, so maybe he's got better pets than me. Well, while that drain is seeping away, I thought I'd go out to this little nature reserve here, and bloody, is that what it's called, a nature reserve? I don't know. A bit of grass and some trees. I just thought we'd try and find the sewer. Well, this is a little bit of a mystery. I mean, is this raw sewage, or... I don't know, I was getting squirted before. Would that have been the reticulation? Is there a burst pipe in the ground? I don't know, it's not my dad's truck, but it's a little bit fishy. Let's test the dunny out. Bloody beautiful. Well, the drain's clear, but unfortunately this poor owner has got himself a sewage swimming pool. I mean, you know, some people would like to bathe in that. I don't know. Personally, not me. For 50 bucks, maybe. I don't know. But let's go and check, see if anything is running through this inspection shaft now. Should be. Sounds like it. Let's have a look. I mean, that's music to my ears. You know, some would say that that is what I play in the van on the way to each job. You know, just free-flowing water. Maybe I do. Oh, who's this bludger here? Where have you come from, mate? Who are you? Oi, that's my son. 